Hey friends, I'm so happy you're here. My name is Miss Karen, and we have been learning this month that we do not have to be afraid because God is with us, and God's got it. Who's got it? God's got it. Yes, He does. Let's sing this song together. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me, always with me. Wherever I go, God is with me. Who's got it? God's got it. Yes, He does. And He is always with us. In fact, our memory verse says that. Remember the memory verse? Joshua 1, 9. God is with you wherever you go. Let's try it with our actions. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Try it one more time. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Great job, friends. God is with us, and that's good news for sure, because God's got it. Who's got it? God's got it. That's right. Hey, friends, let's stand up. I want you to pretend to take a walk with me, but before you start walking, I'm going to call out the weather, and I want you to walk as if you're walking in that weather. So, if I say it's sunny, show me how you might walk in the sunshine. If I say it's snowing, show me how you might walk bundled up in the snow. Just like that, yeah, great job. Okay, everybody ready? Here we go. Walk in the sunshine. Good job! How about if it's heavy rain? Yeah, some of you like the heavy rain. What if it turns to hail? Oh no, block! It's gonna hurt! Don't walk in the hail! Nice job! What if it's windy? <laughs> How about if it's hot? <gasps> what if it's very cold? I'm going to get all bundled up in my coat and jacket and I'm going to walk. Nice job! How about if it's snowing? I'm going to go, I'm going to try to catch the snowflakes with my tongue. 
Do you, do you do that? Do you try to catch snowflakes with your tongue? That's so much fun. Great job walking, friends. You did a great job showing how you might respond to different types of weather. In our story today, we'll hear about someone who was faced with some very hot weather. Let's find out what happened to her. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder Can you hear me? Are you there? Oh! Hello there, friends! Welcome to the clubhouse! It's me, Manny, and I'm happy to see you today. Can you believe it's still raining outside? It's been pouring for days and days now, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Do you know what this is? It's a cup with a string on the end. This string stretches all the way across the yard into my house. My mom has another cup on the other end of the string. We're gonna try to hear each other through the string. Isn't that cool? Let's try it. Hello, Mom, hello. Hmm. Hello, Mom, hello. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Talking to your mom, are you? Hi, Holly. Yeah, I sure am. My mom and I are trying to hear each other through the string. And it really works. We can hear each other. Cup phones are fun. Yes, it's true. But I know someone who always hears you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Okay, this one is for Mrs. Burkholtz. Oh, and this one is for Mr. Jackson. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. It's so good to see you. I'm just getting all of these letters ready for delivery. I love when people send cards like this. Having a great trip, miss you. Love, Gigi and Gramps. It's so great. I love all of the different ways that we have to talk to each other. In fact, today's story is about how we can talk to God. Are you ready to hear it? I said, are you ready to hear it? <laughs> Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. So our true story from the Bible begins in a desert. Have you ever been to a desert? Some are sandy and hot, like really, really hot. Let's all pretend we're in a desert. Oh, oh man, it's so hot out here. Look at that sun. It must be 100 degrees. I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Let's fan ourselves. Whew. The desert is hot. Well, in today's story, in a hot desert, there was a mother named Hagar and her son. They look so tired, don't they? And hot. Now tell me, what do people need when they are hot and tired? Let's see if you can guess. Do they need a warm coat, roller skates, or a drink of water? A drink of water, that's right. Hagar and her son needed water, but they were out of water. 
Hagar didn't know what to do. They had no water to drink and couldn't walk any farther. Hagar's son started crying. And then <laughs> Hagar started crying too. Everyone, let's cry with them. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Okay, we can stop. Great job. They were all alone in the desert and thirsty and hot. They thought no one could hear them crying. Except, tell me, who always hears us? God, that's right. God can always hear us. Just then, an angel spoke to Hagar from above. Everyone say, whoa, whoa. The angel told Hagar to not be afraid, that God heard her son's cries and he was showing her where to find water. God loves us so much, doesn't he? He hears us no matter where we are. No matter where we go, God is with us. And we don't have to worry because God's got it. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God heard the boy, and he will hear you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God heard Hagar and her son and gave them just what they needed. And guess what? God hears us and helps us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! Do you know what the best part is? I don't need a cup full to talk to God. He's always with me and always hears me, no matter what. Talk to you later, Mom. I'm gonna talk to God. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hagar and her son were very thirsty, but they didn't have any water. Who was with them, even in the big hot desert? Yes, God was with them. Who heard them? Yes, God heard them. And who gave them what they needed? That's right, God gave them what they needed. God was with Hagar and her son. God heard them, and God gave them what they needed. Because no matter what happens, God's got it. Who's got it? God's got it! And the Bible verse we are learning will help us to remember that God is always with us too. It says, God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Try it one more time. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Great job, friends. Way to go. Wow, God loves us so much. No matter where we go, God is with us. And we don't ever have to worry because God's got it. Who's got it? God's got it. He sure does. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, it makes me feel so good to know that you are always with me and all of my friends here today. No matter where we go, you hear us and take care of us. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, that's our story for today. I can't wait to tell you another one next time. I'll see you later. Bye.